Hi friends, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a chatty get ready with me and wow, I'm so excited for this video because it's been a long time since we've done this. And if you look at all the chapters of life, this is really what has bound us together. Chatty get ready with me throughout the years. And um, I did a little bit of calculation. My first birthday video was turning 17. And it's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, nine, what? Nine years because I'm turning 25 in two weeks. So we've gone through so many life chapters together of doing our makeup and talking about things that I feel like this is just essential to do and to show you guys as well. Of course, my everyday makeup, that's the look we're doing today. But before we get started, I'd like to thank BetterHelp for being the paid partner of today's video. Taking time to look after myself in the morning, whether it's through skincare or doing my makeup or talking through things with myself and others has been a great form of therapy for me outside of the professional help that I seek to better my mental health every day. BetterHelp connects you with credentialed therapists who are trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. You can use my link in the description to get matched with a professional with years of experience in helping people. And usually, this is within 48 hours. BetterHelp is a great way to ease into seeking professional help because it's done all through the phone or computer. You could do it through video chat, through phone, or through messaging. Whichever is more comfortable for you. So go ahead guys and let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash hannahkathleen or choose hannahkathleen when you sign up and you can get a special discount for your first month. Okay, so what are we talking about today? We're gonna be talking about the mid-twenties. I feel like I'm in my mid-twenties era. No, I'm not, I don't feel like. I know I am because I'm 24 now and then I'm gonna turn 25 and then 26. Like Those are the mid-twenties years and isn't it a shared sentiment that this time of our lives is exponentially confusing or challenging as compared to like the rest of our life thus far uh i don't know if it's just me but i feel like there has just been a major shift in the dynamics of living i just wanted to talk through that today just share my thoughts with you guys and maybe in some way you can relate or we can share some notes about how to best operate as a mid-20 person. I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup. This is the type of makeup that I do when I just wanna feel put together. Even if I'm working from home, I really made it the habit to do my makeup and prepare, even if it's just work calls, because it makes me feel presentable and it makes me feel like I've prepared and I feel more competent, honestly. I'm gonna start with some serum. I already washed my face. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. My skin has been breaking out. I think it's just because of stress, honestly. It shows up here, talaga. And here, for some reason, it's like right in the middle of my eyebrows. Like, I don't know why, but it's always this area. I feel like Vision from the Marvel movies with this. We had Run Club this morning. I didn't really sleep much because I was editing a video. It's a day in my life. So I just edited that last night and then had run club this morning, so had around three and a bit hours of sleep. Not ideal, but I've been procrastinating. I recognize that I'm quite distractible when I'm doing tasks that are a little bit more challenging. So I'm taking note of that and taking note of the things that I like to turn to when I'm distracted, aka my phone and Instagram and messaging people. Some moisturizer. This is the La Mer, the Moisturizing Fresh Cream. I don't typically put moisturizer in the morning, but my face is really dry for some reason. Probably because of the lack of sleep. So I'm just putting a little extra. I guess I should update you, like life update also type vibe. Um, what have I been up to? What, what, what has been occupying my life schedule? I, I think I should talk about that too because when's the last time we made a YouTube video? Tagal na. How often do I post on Instagram? Not as often as I should. I'm gonna put on some sunscreen. This is the Biore Aqua Rich. Running is one. Um, it has randomly become a big part of my personality. I didn't think it would be. It was just kind of a hobby I got into and then when I decided to plan a fun run and start a run club, it just took over my content because I guess I do it so often, like might as well make content about it. So I've been running often 
and that has been really great though for like my mental health and just getting back up again and being productive first thing in the morning it's been super helpful for me so that takes up maybe like 20 percent of my time actually working out so not just running but i've been also getting into swimming i've been thinking about getting back into triathlon so i also got a bike recently thank you so much dance bike for sending me a bike lots of workout but i've learned to love it and i've learned to look for it also like my body looks for movement when i have extensive periods of idleness a lot of people ask me like what i do for work i do a lot of different things for work that's why it's kind of hard to put it in one category i can say multiple hats that i play one that kind of covers a lot of ground is being a creator shooting content for my own socials but also i've been helping other creators and talents also come up with content for their brands and also help them shoot stuff i've been more involved in the media company of my dad called mediaworks so we filmed a movie it's on netflix now it's called gg we did that last year that was like my that was my main thing for the past two years so being a creative producer and i also co-wrote that and now we just want to take it up a notch and get into more films. I think that exploration does take quite a, a bit of time because it also entails networking and getting to know people from the industry. I don't know a lot of people from the film industry here, so I'm just getting to know them. What else takes up my time? Well, planning a fun run. So as I said, I started a fun run. So planning a fun run is planning a huge event and I really hope I mean this is gonna be an event with thousands of people we already have a thousand five hundred people signed up and I'm still hoping for more people to come and join because I've made a lot of space for people to come and join and I know Filipinos are quite last minute so if you're last minute and you want to join the fun run there's a 5 10 a 21k just sign up already join us it's gonna be super duper fun and so many prizes like we have so many sponsors who are super generous with giving prizes so it would be great to have you there. That has been taking up probably 40% of my time because it's a lot of making content on social media, planning for the event itself, coordinating with sponsors, and also just participating in the run club. That's apart from my personal training. So planning for those events. And we've been having open runs, oh, which have been super duper fun. That's upwards of 100, 150 people who come and join us for a, a run, a public run. And it's just oh, it's so exciting. So that's it, like 20% of a content creator, 40% of an event planner and leading this run club, run just one movement. Um, encouraging people to get 1% better every day and then I think like 30% is um, actually doing film stuff and planning for future projects, doing marketing items for media works. My role is more like creative director and I work with talents and brands to come up with ideas on how we can make better content. So that's probably like 30% so what? we're. 20 plus 30 that's 50 plus 40 that's 90 and then i think 10 percent of my life okay maybe a little bit of a bigger chunk but uh, the remainder of that is trying to be a social person bobby brown perfectly defined brow pencil and anastasia beverly hills brow is all the time all day being 24 i think i've received the message from the universe that like hey it's time to make money it's time to have a profession it's time to focus on your career because you're not studying anymore and you're not getting any younger so it's like oh okay message received full on just do work that was me um and then i realized that like wow i'm so much more than just somebody who works and i need to have work-life balance and um that's what inspired me to involve some social activity in my schedule because I tend to be the person that overwhelms her calendar with work-related items and then the socials are left unattended. And then I just become a workhorse and then super sad because 
what's the point of working so much if you can't enjoy that money that you earn with friends, with good food, with traveling and stuff like that. I used to think that you can have blocks of time in your life where you could be like, okay, I'm focused on work and I'll just work, 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 work. But then what happens is you burn out and then you go on a trip. <laughs> That's me. You burn out and then you go on a two month sabbatical trip to regain some sense of being human. And then you go back and then you work, work, work again. But what if I suggest? you integrate the rest while you are working. There's this concept with training that's like, treat your hard days hard and treat your easy days easy. But you alternate your hard and easy days. So in your hard days or your work days, really work, focus on the work, put effort on the work. But when it's time to rest, when it's time to be a social person, when it's the weekend maybe, like, really rest during the weekend. This concealer looks crazy. <laughs> I need to blend it out. I have a feeling that um, I've gotten more tan than I care to admit. I'm trying to sprinkle my rest instead of chunk it. Like, work for three months <laughs> and then rest for two months. Like, that doesn't make sense. I feel like life is not formulated to suit that that schedule. So I'm trying to involve some spontaneity in my schedule as well. Leaving space for the spontaneous. So it's like planned spontaneity. <sighs> when I plan rest days, I try to engage in my hobbies. So outside of running, I love playing golf. And literally I've had so many times in my life where I just thought about like, should I drop everything and just become a golfer? <laughs> Um, I also do love diving, so that makes me happy and I haven't dove in a long time. But that's what my life has been like so far. And the thing is, we have different seasons of life, right? Like, there will be seasons of life where it will be all about social life, maybe. Not all about, but that will be your main focus, to like make friends, to have relationships and then there will also be seasons of life where it's like a grind time putting in the work and i think that's really my season right now it's like putting in the work we'll have a harvest season too one day so just just you know just being aware of these seasons of life i'm using the sunny's blush on in keen so my dad stopped me this morning, he visited the run club and he said, Hey Anna, I just have something to share with you. And it was a word of encouragement, of course, as he does. And he says, what you see or what we see as the process is what God sees as the end. I was like, what? But I was like, yeah, you're right, dad. For us, it's like, okay, these are the steps and you have your eyes on this prize like when i get this when 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 i'm just in the process when i'll be happy i'll be content when it's like no his intention is for you to go through this process that's already the prize that's the end goal that's the thing the process Force me to ask, you know, what is the end goal that I'm looking at? And am I despising the process instead of embracing it? During this time of life, we are given a picture of the milestones that we are expected. You're supposed to be this and that and whatnot. That we see those as markers of whether or not we're socially acceptable or where we need to be. But it's so comforting to know that God doesn't look at those things, but he looks at the way that we go through the process. Are we making the most of the journey on the way there? Or are we? I don't know. I'm trying to. I don't think it's automatic for us to embrace 
the process. Speaking of my dad giving some advice, one thing I learned or am learning is that the older you get, the more you realize that you can't do things alone. When we're born, we need to rely on people. We can't get our bottle, we can't make our own food, we can't go to place A to place B without somebody to drive us. But as we progress, we realize that like independence is so fun. I mean, I love independence, especially when I got the chance to live abroad. It was like, wow, this is total independence. And then you enjoy it and you realize that, wow, I'm gaining so much confidence. And kaya ko pala to, kasi akala ko hindi ko kaya, pero kaya ko pala. But if we're not careful, we can develop this idea that we can completely live independently from other people and be self-sufficient. But that's like such a lie. It's such a lie and it's like, why would you want to do that? Yes, there's so much beauty in recognizing what you're capable of doing for some aspects of life, but it can't be for every aspect of life. We're actually made to live in community with other people. And right now I'm reading Proverbs Proverbs 8 and it talks so highly about wisdom and guidance about how a fool is somebody who neglects wisdom and a fool is somebody who denies the need for guidance because wisdom is developed over time and it's available to us but we can actively oppose wisdom that is available through books, education, sermons, the Bible. We can actively oppose that. And even if you're not actively opposing it, eh, you can subconsciously not listen and think and know or and think you know better. <laughs> but we really don't know everything. And why would we want to? make solo a trip that's meant to be shared you know what i mean i don't know if you guys can see any difference in my makeup but i can see the difference <laughs> and really this is just a medium for me to talk to you but yeah that realization that we're meant to lean on others and we're meant to allow others to lean on us is just such a great relief because there are people in your life that are willing to take on certain burdens and certain loads for you. And there are also people in your life that you'd love to take burdens and loads for. And that's what makes us human. I mean, all that to say, make friends with wisdom and guidance. Because it's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of effort. And it's so much better when experiences like these are shared instead of isolated and kept hush hush like why why do we have to do that diba right? has it also come to your attention that relationships have phases i think as a young human a friend is a friend a sister is a sister a brother is a brother a crush is a crush but like now as you get older, you realize that a sister can morph into a friend and a friend can morph into a stranger and a crush can turn into something more. There are phases to relationships that like you also have to take into account because people change and you change and it can't be static. What? And our roles, the meaning of our roles change too. What does it mean to be a sister during this time? To my sister who just got married. What does it mean to be a friend at this time when my friend lives so far away and we don't anymore live so close by? What does it mean to be working with my dad but still to be his child. 
By the way, I'm putting petroleum jelly on my lashes. I have really not been wearing mascara lately. But putting petroleum on just keeps it up. It is very subtle. I wonder if you could see the difference. But it's super subtle and it stays up, so it works for me. And it's cheap. I don't have to pay for mascara. And I don't have to worry about not being able to remove it. All of these dynamics change. But one relationship that has to stay in the center of all of these different changes is that relationship that I have with God. That's the constant, that's the everyday. And at the end of the day, if I am aligned with Him, if we are one, then He will guide me on how to act out my different roles in society. But it's that consistency of just spending time with God, not necessarily knowing how that looks like all the time. Sometimes it's reading a book, sometimes it's just praying, sometimes it's literally just listening to worship music. Just giving him space to occupy in my life is the reason why, though I have all of these questions, I'm okay. And I trust, I trust that this process of change and growth is not for some far thing. It's for my development now and it's what I meant to go through. So I'm like trying to just embrace this unsureness and the uncertainty. Some days it's not as easy as I make it out to sound. And you just want to know everything sometimes, but not knowing is more of the norm than the seldom. So I might as well embrace it sooner or later. Whirl. This is MAC lip liner in Whirl. I used to not line my lips. Now I realize. It's kind of life changing. Does it scream 25 to you? <laughs> Finishing touch. This is a new Sunny's Face lip glaze in the shade Tiramisu. And it's basically a peptide treatment that's tinted. Wow. Now I'm ready for my work day. Maybe another spritz. Ta-da! My hair, let's just leave it there. Or let's put it down. So the conclusion of this video is that there's no conclusion. And sometimes in life we're not meant to arrive to a conclusion and that's the way that God wants us to remain satisfied with not knowing and having enough faith to trust that though we don't know, he has been there before and he's read our story. He even has a hand in creating it. So I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed doing this try to get ready with me, with you. And um, yeah, that's my everyday makeup. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.